Hi, this is David with Mad Bros Media. I'm here with my favorite Yellow Ranger, Karen Ashley. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm great now that I know I'm your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you liking uh, ECC? You know what? It's amazing. I it, it was shocking to me when I thought about it. I had never done a con in Seattle. So I was like, this year, was like we're making it happen. I'm coming. And I'm so happy I did. I've met so many really amazing people. We've got to, they brought their collection. We've got to finish their collection. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. Well, that's, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that you hear that you're having a lot of fun. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your, I'm interested in your background with Crush. Yeah. And working with some of the people that you like, Johnny Gill and Janet Jackson. What? I know. You know it's so funny. My crush member, yeah. my band, she's right there. Oh, she really? Came, I didn't know. She that. came to hang out with me this weekend and help me because it's just, a, you know, it gets busy at cons. But, no, it was literally, I did it before Power Rangers, and we were signed to A&M Records. And like you said, we got to work with some amazing people, um, Janet Jackson, uh, Johnny Gill. We, I mean, New Edition, we, they would take us to the mall. It was, like, so cool growing up. Yeah. Um, but we did, I did that right before for Power Rangers and I always say that being in that group is what got me ready for Power Rangers because when I had the audition for Power Rangers I was so ready I, I knew what it took to you know put a routine together I knew what it took to like go in there with those producers and not be afraid and look everybody in the eye and I learned all of that from being in that group and so I kind of was like if they like me then the job is mine to lose and so luckily for me I was able to impress them yeah, that, I'm, yeah and that's what then you became the best Yellow Ranger. Oh, well, I always say the Yellow Ranger girls, there are some amazing women who and men who have been yellow. And so thank you. It, you know, if I'm even in the top 10, I feel honored because so many really cool people, very talented people have worked on Power Rangers. Do you have any like anecdote or like a cool story of maybe somebody that you met when you were doing Crush? You know what? I, we met so many cool people. And I just remember everyone used to say, you know, just be genuine just be you know just be true to your art always work hard and that's what I've always tried to do like I've always said the only reason I've gotten the opportunities I've gotten in my career is because I put in the work you know um, and I just worked as hard as I could and I always was just preparing and preparing and preparing so when opportunity came I was ready and whether or not I got some jobs and some jobs I landed it didn't matter I knew I went in there and I made an impression and so that's all you can do when you're an entertainer yeah. you know it's all you can do you definitely you know it's, it's a more no's than yeses but when you get those yeses it's like oh, it's like I always compare it to the worst relationship you'll ever be in because Hollywood will love you and then it'll also hurt you <laughs> yeah, chew you up and spit you out right yeah but you know what it's like you're doing what you're passionate about and I I think that was the biggest lesson for me is once I finally realized you need to just do this because you love it and yeah. this is the only thing you want to do and this is what you know God put you on this earth to do and once I did that I didn't care yeah. about the rejection I just cared about staying true to my art yeah. you know so in staying true to your art what's up next for Karen do you have anything projects you're working on anything you want to uh, talk about I did I did I actually voiced my first anime character I can't say what it is I have to wait at least I think it's two more weeks before I can say it but I'll start posting online as soon as it I can say um, and I, I own my own comic-con I actually own Ranger Stop and Bop with a Nikia Baris and with my friend Michael Bioni and that's in Atlanta Georgia so that is amazing and, and it's one of those things like we literally do a comic-con every weekend We've traveled the world, but to own one is a whole nother thing, <laughs> but it's yeah. so much fun. It's so rewarding and it's just so cool to kind of, you know, create a, a family friendly experience for our fans, but also for, you know, all the people that we invite to the show. You know, we yeah. work, we invite all these amazing actors and we just want to treat them so well and they all want to come back to the show and they all love it. And, but yeah, I'm still acting, I'm doing voiceover, I'm producing. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on, but follow me on Instagram and I, I talk about all of it. <laughs> so one last question for you. Uh, so you were in uh, Power Rangers for like over 80 episodes. Mm -hmm. So how does that compare, you know, acting and, you know, live action compared to like the voice acting? How is that? How is that it's like you, you know, as a new uh, new stone unturned for voice acting? It's 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 I mean, it's honestly apples and oranges, because when you're doing like a show like Power Rangers, you obviously have to be very physical. You've got to learn your fights really quick. We were teenagers. So I always like try to stay true to that energy that, you know, because I really was a teenager. I had literally just graduated high school, um, but just stay true to what I would have done as 
a 14 year old or 15 year old um but then when you do voice acting it's like all that animation and all like i'm a very bubbly person all of that is gone all you get is my voice yeah. so you really have to like mentally tap into what this character is and really get into your voice inflections and just learn how to control your voice and it's a it's a whole new animal you know so but i i love the challenge like i literally went in the studio and I voiced my character and I, I did, I felt like I did really well. The director was like, wow, you did that really quick. And I, I always say, you know, if you're an actor, then you're innately trained to potentially be a voice actor. You just got to really hone your, you know, hone your focus into, you know, giving that same energy you would in front of the camera, but giving it just through your voice. Yeah. So it's, it's very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us with yes. Mad Bros. We really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This has been David. Thank you.